Okay guys, so I'm going to be teaching you something that I had a lot of trouble with, but I eventually was able to do it. I'm going to teach you how to make a Minecraft server the easy way. Okay, so, first thing you need to do is you need to get this right here. I'm going to show you how to do that. Go into your preferred browser, go into Google Chrome, Firefox, I prefer Internet Explorer. Don't hate. Okay, so, you're going to go to Minecraft dot net when you go into minecraft.net you're gonna go to this right here it says download click on download and you're going to click minecraft server dot xe okay what you're gonna do is you're gonna let that download you're gonna save it uh, preferably to your desktop because you're gonna need to do something there then what you're going to do is you're gonna make a new folder it doesn't really matter what you title it I just think it'd be a lot easier if you title it as I do rename. okay title it minecraft server and I'm gonna put a T here just because it's a tutorial okay so now you have your folder right here alright so what you're gonna do is you're going to drag this this thing right here it says minecraft un uh, uh, underscore server dot exe you're gonna pull that into your minecraft server folder. Now you're going to open up that server and you're going to click Microsoft Server XE again. Alright, and then click run. Let me take that off. Okay, click run and it'll start up. Sorry if this is a bit laggy. Okay, so now what's happening right now is ignore these things that say warning, warning. It's because those files don't exist right now. Um, that They're creating it right here. Okay, so once this right here is done preparing it says preparing spawn area once this is done preparing then I'm going to show you what what to do so what you're gonna do now is you're going to type stop s t o p just stop that'll stop your server now here's the, here's the trick you do not want to click the X right here right you're going to want it to have a nice smooth stop you don't want it to have any crude stop by doing that now okay here you go. See all these? These are all the new things that popped up. World. I'll explain them all. Okay, so. World. This is just your world, basically. If you want to make a new world, you'll just delete that. And you'll click uh, Server XE again. And it'll make you a new world. Band IPs. Uh, I ba it basically, if you have a group of people you don't like. Uh, don't know why, but put the IP serv server the IP in here. And nobody from that server can join. Uh, banned players. Um, don't quote me on that, by the way. Okay, banned players. Uh, basically, if you don't like someone, and you don't want them on your server, and you know they're gonna try to join, type their name in here. It has to, it's, it is cap sensitive. Type their name into that, and they won't be able to join the server. Okay, ops, which basically is short for operator, is for if you want them to have, uh, admin commands, basically. So, you're going to go in here, and you're going to type your name. I'm going to type mine in. Okay, and if you want someone else, you just hit enter, and then you just type their name in, just like this. And there you go, you have your ops. And now you're going to hit X, and you're going to click save. Okay, so, next up, server.log. Basically, what this is, is it's going to tell you exactly what people are saying on your... Uh, server it does the same thing here like someone talks on your server it'll pop up in your server.exe while you have it up all right server properties here we go this is when it gets a bit into the things that you want to know okay so I'll let you know exactly what I know okay so right here it says allow another okay well basically this is where you just change all your details about your world like if you want the difficulty to be unpeaceful you would change the difficulty to zero if you want if your computer can't handle like 2,000 players change it to two if you only want you and a friend um spawning monsters you don't want any mobs you don't want any creepers blowing up your house you don't want any skeletons shooting you in the middle of a cave change it to false and then bam spelled that wrong okay false and then bam you there's no monsters in it okay and then so right here this is your message of the day basically if 
every single day someone logs on and, and this message will pop up you can say like welcome to my server new person right so and there you go you have your message of the day um don't if it's recommended just recommending this do not mess with the server IP do not mess with the well level seed if you want a seed that you found on the internet or found on a YouTube video type that in right there and you'll have your seed uh but yeah right here level type okay if you want to have like flat lands or what is it super flat yeah super flat if you want to have super flat if you want to have large biomes that's what you type right here so yeah I think that's about it I'm gonna turn PvP off false okay there you go so now what you gotta do is hit X and you hit save and bam you got your service properties okay whitelist I recommend turning this off if you want to be a public server but if you don't you just type in the names of the people you want and these guys are the only people around allowed in the server so let's say me and my friend uh, want to play and then we click save and we're the only two people allowed in the server so yeah that's all that's about so next thing you want to do is you want to get something called Hamachi. Hamachi. Okay, here it is. Just type in Hamachi, and then this is actually what it is. It's, H it's HTTPS it's words. Okay, and you're going to click on that. So, this is where you're going to, where it gets, it doesn't get hard here. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to want to sign up, and then you're going to download Hamachi. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to go through that. But if you need help with the whole downloading Hamachi, you should find it on just about any other video. But yeah, I'll put this uh, website down here. I'll put this website here in the uh, description, so you can look for it there. Um, so yeah, okay. Next up, I'm going to explain Hamachi. Okay, so let's say you want to make... Okay, so here's the point where it gets a bit difficult. You're going to want to make your own network so your friends can join. So you're going to click here. It says Network. And you're going to click create a new network. Or if they already have Hamachi and they want to make one. If they already have one and they want you to join. You're going to click join an existing network. So click create a new network if you want to make one. Your network ID is whatever. So I'm going to just put a bunch of numbers. Okay. Um, it could be anything you want. Um, password. Whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Oh man. Okay hold on. Hold on a second. I got to know the password so... So yeah, okay, and then you just click create it, and bam, there you go, you got a server. Okay, now for your friends to join, all you have to do is you got to give them, going to want to give them the password and also the ID to your network. So yeah, there is your network ID, very long on mine. And yeah, so um, if you want to do anything else, like set access, basically if you want it to be completely open where someone just click on your server and bam, you're in. So you just take that off and then you'll be good. Um, and if you want to approve them manually, see that you know who they are, then yeah, that's all good. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. And then if you want your friends to join, uh, excuse me. Okay, if you want your friends to join, then all you have to do is go to, you have to know your IP for them. Your IP is going to be just your basic IP. You're going to want to know your external IP for this. So you're going to go to IP chicken.com and it'll give your IP right there yes I don't care if you see my IP S yeah IP if you want to find your IP then you just go to command dot exe and you type in IP config and your IP should be here somewhere ah here it is okay the IPv4 address, this right here, is how you connect to your IP, or to your server. So, if you guys have any questions, want me to do a follow-up video on this, uh, see if I had any, if you guys had any problems, let me know, and I'll help you out with that. So yeah, all right. Thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna be putting out a new video soon. Time lapses, hopefully. Um, and yeah, all right. Bye, guys.